Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're taking a trip down memory lane with a, then and now, exploration of the stellar cast of, There's Something About Mary. There's Something About Mary is a popular romantic comedy film that was released in 1998. Directed by Peter and Bobby Farrelly, the film became a major success and is well known for its humor and memorable scenes. The movie stars Cameron Diaz as Mary Jensen, a woman who becomes the center of romantic attention from several men. Ben Stiller plays the lead role of Ted Stroman, who, after an embarrassing incident in high school, sets out to reconnect with Mary years later. The film also features Matt Dillon, Lee Evans, and other notable actors. It's been over two decades since the hair gel mishap and the hilarious misadventures of Ted, Mary, and the gang. So, where are our favorite characters from the Farrelly Brothers comedy masterpiece today? Join me as we delve into the, then and now, stories of Cameron Diaz, Ben Stiller, Matt Dillon, Lee Evans, Chris Elliott, and Jeffrey Tambor. Cameron Diaz. The radiant star of romantic comedy. Born on August 30, 1972, in San Diego, California, Cameron Michelle Diaz emerged as a radiant force in Hollywood, forever etched in our memories as the effervescent Mary Jensen in, There's Something About Mary. Cinematic Odyssey. Cameron Diaz's journey through the world of entertainment reads like a storybook of success. From her breakout role in, The Mask, to her unforgettable performances in, Shrek, Diaz's onscreen charisma and infectious laughter made her a darling of audiences worldwide. However, it was her portrayal of Mary in the Farrelly Brothers' romantic comedy that solidified her status as a leading lady in Hollywood. Most Successful Roles While Mary Jensen stole hearts, Diaz's success extended far beyond. Her roles in critically acclaimed films like, Being John Malkovich, and, Vanilla Sky, showcased her range as an actress. Diaz's collaboration with directors like Martin Scorsese and Ridley Scott underlined her ability to seamlessly transition between genres. Prestigious Awards. Cameron Diaz's mantle may not boast an Oscar, but her contributions have earned her nominations and accolades. A Golden Globe nomination for her role in, There's Something About Mary, and a Saturn Award for, Vanilla Sky, speak volumes about her impact on the industry. Ben Stiller. The master of comedy and heartfelt stories. Born on November 30, 1965, in New York City, Benjamin Edward Mira Stiller emerged as a comedic maestro and a captivating leading man. Forever remembered as the lovable Ted Stroman in, There's Something About Mary. Cinematic Odyssey. Ben Stiller's journey in the entertainment industry is marked by a blend of zany comedies and heartfelt dramas. From the uproarious, Zoolander, to the thought-provoking, The Secret Life of Walter Mitty, Stiller's ability to navigate diverse roles showcases his versatility. Most Successful Roles Beyond his quest for love in, There's Something About Mary, Stiller's success extends to his directorial achievements in films like, Tropic Thunder, and, The Cable Guy. His performances in the, Meet the Parents, franchise and, Night at the Museum, series solidified him as a comedic icon. Prestigious Awards Ben Stiller's shelf holds numerous awards, including an Emmy Award for The Ben Stiller Show and a MTV Movie Award for There's Something About Mary. His impact on both the small and big screen has earned him the admiration of audiences and peers alike. Matt Dillon. The versatile charmer with a noir edge. Born on February 18, 1964, in New Rochelle, New York, Matthew Raymond Dillon emerged as a Hollywood stalwart with a charm that transcends genres. Forever etched in our memories as the enigmatic private investigator Healy and, There's Something About Mary. Cinematic Odyssey. Matt Dillon's career is a tapestry woven with a variety of characters. From the rebellious presence in, The Outsiders, to the haunting performance in, Crash, Dillon's ability to embody roles with nuance and depth has defined his enduring career. Most Successful Roles. While Healy endeared himself in the pursuit of Mary, Dylan's success extends to his work in films like, Drugstore Cowboy, and, The Flamingo Kid. His magnetic presence on screen earned him accolades and a dedicated fanbase. Prestigious Awards. Matt Dillon's accolades include an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actor for his role in, Crash, and a BAFTA Award for, Drugstore Cowboy. His contributions to the cinematic landscape have left an indelible mark. Lee Evans. The hilarious companion with a heart of gold. Born on February 25, 1964, in Avonmouth, Bristol, Lee John Martin Evans brought uproarious laughter to stages and screens alike. Cinematic Odyssey. 
Lee Evans' journey from the stages of stand-up comedy to the silver screen is a testament to his undeniable talent. With an infectious energy and impeccable timing, Evans charmed audiences with roles in films like Mouse Hunt and The Fifth Element. Yet, it was his portrayal of Tucker, Ted's quirky roommate, that endeared him to fans of the romantic comedy genre. Most successful roles. While Tucker's antics left us in stitches, Lee Evans' success extended to his acclaimed stand-up comedy career, making him one of Britain's most beloved comedians. His live performances, marked by physical comedy and witty observations, solidified his status as a comedic icon. Prestigious awards. Lee Evans' accolades include a Perrier Comedy Award for his stand-up work. While not a stranger to recognition, his impact on the comedy landscape is perhaps best measured by the laughter and joy he has brought to countless audiences. Chris Elliott. The eccentric pursuer of love. Born on May 31, 1960, in New York City, Christopher Nash Elliott carved a niche for himself as a unique and eccentric comedic talent. Forever remembered as Dom Woganowski, one of Mary's eccentric suitors in There's Something About Mary. Cinematic Odyssey. Chris Elliott's career is a mosaic of quirky characters and offbeat humor. From his work on Late Night with David Letterman, to memorable roles in films like Groundhog Day, Elliott's ability to bring eccentricity to the screen is unmatched. His portrayal of Dom, the unconventional suitor in There's Something About Mary, added a delightful layer to the film's comedic tapestry. Most successful roles. While Dom's peculiar attempts to win Mary's heart left audiences chuckling, Chris Elliott's success extended to his work in television, including the cult classic, Get a Life, and more recent appearances in Schitt's Creek. His unique comedic style has garnered a dedicated fanbase. Prestigious awards. Chris Elliott's contributions have earned him accolades such as a Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Writing in a Variety or Music Program for Late Night with David Letterman. His ability to infuse humor with eccentricity has left an indelible mark on the world of comedy. Jeffrey Tambor. The commanding presence with a touch of humor. Born on July 8, 1944, in San Francisco, California, Jeffrey Michael Tambor made his mark as a versatile actor with a commanding presence. Forever recognized for his supporting role as Sully, Healy's boss in There's Something About Mary. Cinematic Odyssey. Jeffrey Tambor's career spans decades and genres, showcasing his ability to portray characters with depth and nuance. From his notable roles in Arrested Development, to acclaimed performances in films like The Larry Sanders Show, Tambor's resume reflects his versatility. His turn as Sully, the boss with an imposing yet humorous demeanor, added a memorable layer to the romantic comedy. Most successful roles. While Sully's antics in There's Something About Mary showcase Tambor's comedic chops, his success extends to his Emmy Award-winning performances in Transparent. Prestigious awards. Jeffrey Tambor's accolades include multiple primetime Emmy Awards for his roles in The Larry Sanders Show and Arrested Development. As we wrap up this journey through the comedic wonders of There's Something About Mary and the talented actors who brought it to life, we're eager to hear from you, our fantastic viewers. Which character left you in stitches? Was it Lee Evans' uproarious Tucker, Chris Elliott's eccentric Dom, or Jeffrey Tambor's commanding yet humorous Sully? Share your favorite moments, quotes, and perhaps your own hilarious encounters in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit that, like, button if you enjoyed our trip down memory lane, subscribe for more content that tickles your nostalgia, and ring the notification bell so you won't miss out on future explorations into the world of cinema.